Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog, and today we're back taking a deeper look at Affinity Designer for iPad. On the splash screen, you have options to open a new document from the cloud, which will overwrite that file. You can import it from the cloud, which will create a new one, import from photos, or start a new document or project. With a new document, you have the ability to set your resolution, color profile, and more. You can insert an image or change the background as simple as going into the document menu and importing or inserting documents, images, or more into the project. Double tapping on a document will allow you to edit it separately. In the vector persona, you can draw with the pencil tool or the vector brush and change from over 100 brush types, including the thickness, opacity, and color, and you can change this after the fact. You can manipulate the shape by adding and changing points along the curve, and one cool text option after that would be adding text on the path by tapping either above or below the curve, because you can use either side, and adding your text. And you can drag the text anywhere you want along the curve. The FX button allows you to customize whatever layer or object you are on. For the instance of text, you can have options for 3D, blur, overlays, gradients, etc. Now a powerful editing tool would be the selection options. In the pixel persona, you can do the freehand selection tool to drag around a selection. The polygonal tool adds and connects lines, which is good for straight edges. And the magnetic mode might be the best, which will follow a path and snap to pixel edges between connecting points. But your best bet might be to use the smart selection tool, which uses edges to connect and select areas automatically. Refining adjustments allows you to pinpoint your selection. You can brush over selections with the matte tool and allows the software to reprocess the selection and that's really handy and powerful. And finally, you have tons of options including changing the background to provide the most contrast for your selection and to maximize accuracy in your selection. The shape tool obviously allows you to add shapes and there's tons of them available. And using the effects menu, you can add gradients, which is a really powerful tool and you can change endpoints or add your own increments. Zoom in and out, change transparencies, X and Z proportions and more. The gradient options are really cool on this, especially when you're using it with shapes and more effects. With the ability to have multiple artboards, vector drawing, and roster, Affinity is a very powerful illustrative and design app, and the more I use it, the more I realize just how fine-tuned and in-depth the app is. It puts an incredible amount of creative power in the hands of the iPad owner, and competes super well with significantly more expensive and high-end illustrative applications. It even competes in certain areas with editing applications such as Photoshop, especially with the fine-tuned selection capabilities. There's so many facets to this application, and if you're curious about any more specific features that I didn't talk about here, uh, you can check out their website, which does have awesome tutorial videos for every single feature, essentially, uh, in case I didn't cover what you were looking for. Anyway, thank you for watching. Head over to idownloadblog.com and subscribe for more videos just like this.